Hi everyone, so I recently found uh, this forum and uh, this person made some uh, nice uh, mods for drivers and uh, you can actually now update your old drivers version to the latest one even on legacy GPU and uh, even uh, made some improvements as he claims even uh, so it's even worth it on latest GPUs as well so first of all we will uh, do this for a uh, R9 390 GPU right now because this is GPU which I have so first you will need to download Adrenaline GCN download it I will not do it because I already downloaded it <laughs> then you will not you will need to download Radeon software Select the GCN version as well. Here, right click it, get link, copy, paste it, enter, and download it. Next, you will need to go to Google and did you download then you'll want to open this website click on it click here to download it and official download here click this thing and it will download so right now you should have three files the software, the driver, and the DDU. DDU is a display driver uninstaller, and that's the, what we're gonna need first. So, first, you need to extract it. As you can see, I already have them installed, but I will uninstall them now just for the sake of the video. So, open it, ok through everything and select GPU, select AMD and select clean and restart. I will be back to you after that's done. Alright and I back so right now my driver is uninstalled, so let's proceed. Unzip this file. Uh, actually, unzip it uh, into the separate folder. Open it. Before we proceed, uh, click. Before we proceed, make, make sure you will disable your antivirus completely. This is very important. For example, I have Norton, and I have to disable it here. Wait, uh, no, not here. I have to disable it here. And also, you have to disable data protection in case if your antivirus have it. Otherwise, your setup will fail. Then, right click and run as administrator. Press any key to continue. Now I disabled the music, so it will not bother for the sake of the video. Here, write one. This will install the driver. Here, this will install the driver after you will write one again, at least for R9 390. If you have uh, another GPU, 
uh, then uh, you need to write tree first and it will open the browser window for you and uh, it will show what kind of GPUs number two have also number one have not only R9390 but also a bunch of other GPUs just make sure that uh, the architecture is the same similar in case if your GPU is in number two I mean uh, if number three list says that it's in a G GCN 1.0 then you must select number two right. here you need to just spam install the same way Click install. Uncheck this box and uh, click restart. I'll back at you. Hmm. Alright, so the driver is now installed, so let's install the Radeon software first. Right click this uh, ECC to GCN install.exe and cut it. Open this folder and go to dependencies slash gcn I click this setup and run it as administrator so make sure that your antivirus is still off press any key to continue right to here Make sure that you place it, it, place it this file inside this folder. And then press enter. Here you need to write one. Now you need to write two. Now you need to write three. That's it. Write X to exit the setup. Now you can right click on your desktop and open AMD Radeon software to make sure that it's working. I click it on my second screen if anything.
and as you can see everything is working fine thank you for watching oh almost forgot the sound control uh, is on your keyboard uh, will stop working after installing this driver at least on my end and i did not found a complete solution for that only like a, for a single boot solution you need to restart and write services in search bar and then open devices and scroll down till the H and uh, find this device human interface device service here is the description of it just exactly what we need right click it all tasks restart and now phone keys are working again Hopefully there will be some permanent solution and not just for a single boot. Anyway, thank you for watching.